this motor's heavy, so it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Um, I tried doing it from the other side, and it's just not really good leverage from uh, the battery compartment because this sits underneath uh, the plate that could, the controller and everything mounts onto. If I remove that, it will probably make it a little bit easier, um, but I figured I'd just jack it up and install it from the bottom. So the motor just slides onto the splines of the shaft right here. I put some grease on there in preparation for the installation. You can see the shaft is there. Put just a little bit of grease on there. I didn't want to put too much um, because I don't want to grease up the, uh, the coils and the motor and get grease on the um, on the brushes. I switch back to this side just because the camera would be in my way. Almost didn't want to go in that way. Okay. All right, it's on the shaft. All my bolts wouldn't go in, so as I did was I rotated the motor a little bit forward to the next position for the bolts, and now. I got all four of them in. There's one, two on this side, and then the third one over there that you can see it, and then there's a fourth uh, right there. So now I'm gonna tighten those in a little bit at a time so it goes on flat, and then I'm gonna perform a test on the motor to make sure that it's working. All right, so I'm doing a low voltage motor test. So I put a jumper between uh, F1 and A2, and then I connected my battery jumper cables to A1 and F2. Because it's a series wound motor, so you need to connect the coils together in series and then put the battery on each end of that series circuit. And now, and I connect. So now when I connect the battery, now the motor is working. So a couple things that I found with this speed controller. Uh, number one, This is a model 1244-4406. This golf cart actually calls for a model 1268. And you'll see the voltage ratings for this is 24 to 36 volts, 400 amps. This is a 48 volt golf cart. So this is not the controller that belongs with this golf cart. Even the pinout for this logic cable doesn't match between the two controllers. 
the golf cart was not rewired to match this controller. They basically just plugged this thing in and it probably never worked. And they got frustrated and let it sit outside in the rain. And when I opened this up, water just poured out from the sides here. Let me see if I can lift this off and show you. This thing was filled with water. It's dry now because I let it sit. Um, you can see this diode here is fried. And I'm sure a lot of these ICs are fried because they're all wet. You see rust everywhere, corrosion. So this thing is just shot. Earlier in the series, I talked about this throttle box and how bad it looked. So I cleaned it out and put some fresh grease on there. Um, I tested the potentiometer. It's bad. It's supposed to be a 5K potentiometer, and it's only reading about 170 ohms from end to end. Um, this switch, when it's ohmed out, it works, but... This receives a voltage signal to one side of the switch and for some reason even though it ohms out properly I'm getting connectivity to the other side when there's a voltage applied so I'm going to replace this switch and see if that fixes the problem um, I tested the wire and the wire tests okay so it doesn't seem like there's a short anywhere it's acting like there's a short um, but when I tested the, the cable, there is no short. So I'm hoping that it's a switch. So I have a switch coming, I have a potentiometer coming, and I have a new controller coming. And then pretty much this whole thing is gonna be brand new. And here's where we're at so far. Yeah, the speakers installed. I still have the floor opened up because I have that throttle box out. Head units installed. Marine switches are installed. These speaker boxes were not made for this golf cart, so they required some modification, some cutting and some twisting. I had to put some heat to them to get them to fit into place, but they look like they were meant for this golf cart. So we're in the final stretch. I have to finish polishing the wheels, but hopefully within the next couple of days, this thing will be rolling. So I ordered a single lithium battery. This has a floor plate on top of it. I have it strapped in there now to hold it into place. So this battery weighs about 100 pounds. These batteries weigh 63 pounds each. So that's 360 pounds in batteries right there. So by switching to the lithium, that's making this golf cart 260 pounds lighter. All right, so this throttle box was completely cleaned out. I replaced the switch as well as a potentiometer. It's a brand new one. There's the old one there. And you can hear the switch clicking when you tap the throttle. Now I'm just gonna install the potentiometer back in place and we should be good to go. And then we're just waiting on the controller.